having an incredible day. Now in this video, I'm going to be harvesting the seed from a Venus flytrap. Now, a few weeks ago, I pollinated the flowers on my Venus flytrap, and I'm pleased to say it was a success. I've got seed. And if you haven't seen that video on how to pollinate Venus flytrap flowers, check it out, guys. I'll put the links up above. And you, the reason how, why I'm doing this video is I want to show you how you'll know when they're ready to harvest the seeds. Well, first of all, if it's been a success, the seed at the top, the, sorry, the, the pods at the top form almost like a very tiny miniature sunflower head. And they go jet black, and that's how you know that they've been pollinated. They start to swell up as well, and in this case, there's lots of tiny little seeds all bursting out the pods, which is brilliant. And um, when it comes to harvesting them, obviously, rather than getting the plate and then getting them all off like that, because they're going to go everywhere, is to cut the heads off and have a plate ready, as in this case I've got a plate here with a bit of uh, kitchen roll tissue paper there to catch any seeds. And then what I'd recommend doing is obviously cutting off the, um, the heads, like so. Get your hand uh, like that, put them into the dish. Like that. It would be much easier then to um, get all the seeds out of their pods while they're in a dish rather than trying to do it while it's on the plant, obviously. Uh, I'm not sure if there's seed in there, but I'll cut them off anyway because they look a bit small. Uh -huh. and, uh, and there. Like that. And then the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to be um, separating the pods to get the seed out. And uh, I'm going to show you how to do that. So guys, once you've cut the heads off, <laughs> what you can do at this point is actually remove the stems, um, the flower stems, because then it means if you get rid of these stems, the energy can go towards the rest of the plant and help build in uh, some more healthy uh, plant growth, including the traps. So cut back as far to close to the base as you can, obviously making sure that you don't uh, cut off any of the traps or the other leaves, and then just snip it to the base like so. Now it comes to taking the seed out of the pods. Now as you can see, some of them have already come out. They come out really easy. So obviously just pick one of the pods up. Gently, um, gently pull away like that. And they fall out. There you go. Probably just coming out really easy. Like so. And that's all you have to do with all of them. Just do another couple just to show you. So there you go guys. That's my first harvesting of my first ever Venus flytrap seeds. And I'm going to be sowing these seeds over the next couple of days, so stay tuned for a video there. And what I recommend you do is that once you've obviously harvested the seed, separate, you'll have a bit of the, the little bit of the flower head dried at parts, is to separate as much of that from the seed um, as you can. Put the seeds into either a clear plastic bag or paper envelope. If you're not going to be sowing the seeds for a number of weeks, then keep them refrigerated because this helps to keep them viable. But Venus flytrap seeds are better sown as soon as possible because the longer they go, they lose the viability. So if you're not going to be sowing them straight away, keep them in a cool place. And if it's going to be a lot longer than that, then obviously um, keep them in a refrigerator. And that's really all. They don't need to have a stratification or a scarification process, and like some other carnivorous plant seeds, these are just to be sown as soon as possible. And I'm going to do a separate video on how to uh, grow Venus flytrap from seed. So I send you loads of love, heaps of happiness, and tons and tons of happy growing, as always, from Ireland. Until the next video, bye!